We are back, more Deus Ex. Uh, we are hunting down a package. And more importantly, I guess, the bell tower docks. In order to find out where Vasily Shevchenko... Not Vasily Shev I keep thinking it's Shevchenko. But Shevchenko's dead. Where the rest of our scientists are. Tong Si Hong found Vasily Shevchenko. Uh, who was dead. And said that he knew where the rest of our scientists were. What he meant by that is that he knew... The location of a bell tower ship. Oh, I love it. I remember this zone. It's so cool. Uh, he found a location of a bell tower ship that uh, he theorized was the ship that took the kidnapped people. And so he's going to send us, he's going to help us aboard that ship because he presumes that the scientists we're looking for were amongst the aforementioned kidnapped people. See, it's pretty, pretty on guard. But there is a uh, security terminal in here. Level one, of course, which means it's plot sensitive. At this stage in the game, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty fair to say that all level one locked things are probably plot sensitive, because we're so far into the game now that almost every side quest or side terminal is higher leveled. Access grant. So if we turn off some cameras here, disable the robots and open the front doors, which is, you know, causes a bit of an alarm, as you can imagine. I'm also going to turn off all the power, which is quite cool. Don't know what that does exactly. Um, I think I'm going to hack that terminal. I'm gonna say something. I can't remember what it was. Oh, that's right. I wanted to talk about the significance of this being a bell tower port. I know we're gonna look a bit more into it uh, as we go through this facility or this mini facility. Access. But uh, just adding to the further dystopia. I'll wait for the experience to go, just in case you want to read it. The further like dystopia that this game presents, that this private military corporation that has been contracted by the Chinese government to fulfill the role of police in this uh, this city, this island city. Which, by the way, interestingly, I was reading an article, um, I think it was yesterday, about what is becoming kind of Hengsha. Um, and we'll talk about that in, in a little second. But it's kind of interesting that, yeah, this bell tower, this private company that's fulfilling the roles of police in this ch large Chinese city hey. is also... You're in my is also capable of having its own port. It's kind of crazy, or at least having such a large presence here uh, in, in a port. It's kind of incredible. But yeah, I was reading an article uh, yesterday about... Uh, I can't remember what it was now, but there's... Um, well, I, I remember the article, obviously, otherwise I wouldn't be talking about it. But I don't remember what the city was called, but there's a massive bridge between China and I, I, I think it's Hong Kong? But I, I could be crazy when I say that. I could be, it could not be Hong Kong. Uh, that could be an incredible claim that there's a bridge between China and Hong Kong. I don't really know how far they are away from each other. But there's a, a bridge between, um, I think it's on the River Delta. Um, yeah, I think it's on the River Delta. And there's a bridge and there's two artificial islands uh, that are part of the bridge because the bridge goes underwater. Well, this stuff's probably pretty interesting. Actually, we should read these real quick. Port going to Hong Kong. This one's going to an Arctic Sea installation, which I wonder if that's Panchea. The port of Cairns. I seem to remember. Is that Egypt? Is that Island? I don't really remember. And then Port of Singapore. Interesting. Um, yeah, so there's these artificial islands that, um, that, that are where the bridge goes uh, underwater. And those are really interesting to me. And I believe on the River Delta, they have the, they're starting to build these island cities. Not quite to the kind of crazy futuristic dystopia that is Hengsha, of course. I mean, that's crazy uh, levels. But, uh, but island cities, and they're becoming incredibly prosperous. China's really interesting to me uh, when you compare it to the world presented by Deus Ex. Because obviously, 
And Deus Ex makes a lot of futuristic predictions, some of which are surprisingly on, on point and some of which aren't. You know, we're eight years away from this game. And I highly doubt we're going to be at the point that this game is at, right? You know, it definitely takes its, I'm not going to say liberties, because it's a futuristic game, you know? It's, it's, uh, it's will point is to predict things kind of crazily. But it definitely does that. It definitely predicts some crazy shit going on. But it's kind of interesting how um, the future of China, just China interests me. Because it's, it's such a foreign story to me. It's such a huge part of the world now. It's one of the most prosperous countries in the world. And I just don't know that much about it. You know, in the last couple of decades when the US was the big country, as someone like, you know, on the, on the global stage and on the economic stage, it was just, you know, the largest country in the world. Um, you know, as, as someone who, is, who grew up in the UK, we have a very big insight into American culture. Because when America became this giant behemoth of international and economic power, it exported its culture. Whereas China, I mean, to my knowledge, hasn't really done that. Right? China hasn't really exported its culture. What? No, no, don't hit the alarm. Is he hitting the alarm? What the hell? Alright, well, I'm going to reload that. China hasn't really exported its culture. And so, I'm sure to more learned people, they have a good, you know, picture of what's going on in China. But to me, it's it's, like, it's almost like a mystery. Because, you know, unlike the US, it hasn't bombarded us culturally for, for so long. But again, it could just be my perspective. Okay, so now I know that if they hear anything, they're just gonna... Yeah, someone spotted me. But they shouldn't hit the alarm, presumably. Oh, there you go. Tong's explosive package. It's a C4. All right, you go. sure could teach my boy some tricks, Jensen. Tong? How did you get this frequency? Ancient Chinese secret. Now listen, you're going to plant that package in Administrator Wang's office. Put it on the bastard's desk and trigger it. Sound good? Sounds like I'm doing you a favor. How does it help me? The explosion should distract the guards. Then you hop in a cargo pod and off you go. But you only got one shot. No turning back once you trigger that thing, you get me? I got you. Only set it if I'm ready to go. Alright, let's see where those sewers lead then. That's down. They both seem relatively down. Okay. They don't quite get us there. Do I? Can I page up, page down these? No. Is there any way to change? Oh, it's minus and... Okay, that's cool. So yeah, we're looking at... No, they don't quite get us to where I want to go, which is in here. But they do get us perhaps over here, which might lead down here. So, yeah, I was hoping this was actually going to be a security hub. All right. Let's hope that we can find... Oh my god, it's a robot. What the hell? Gas and robots? Are you, are you serious? I'm going to quick save real quick. All right. Where are the robots range here? I was hoping that the, that would be quite easy. I was very incorrect about that. There seems to be a little room down there. Maybe there's a security hub. Nope. Let's not fuck with the robot. I could EMP the robot, but that seems... That seems excessive. The only robot we've had to EMP so far has been, uh... That robot that was trying to kill Malak. No security hub, but there is a vent. Interesting. This probably leads outside. It does. Alright. Now is there... By chance, a entrance to some sewers over here? No, there isn't. Hmm. Q. 
curious. Very curious. I expected there to be. Because if we see down here. But maybe I guess they're further. That's further that way. Alright, well, uh, I want to go up these stairs. Preferably without being spotted. He's far enough away. He's going to take a while to go. Oh, no, he's not. Oh, my. They're actually like. Oh, that's worth hacking into. The turret's off. I feel like I can neutralize this fucker. Looks like a stun and punch guy, though. I don't know, these- these- look, I, maybe I'm getting greedy. We're at the point where we really don't need money. But, uh... But I want it anyway. Man, I'm actually worried that I'm, uh... Yeah, I was really worried that he wasn't gonna be close enough to stun. That uh, to punch. Ooh, 300 credits on a guy. So, he wasn't gonna get close enough to punch. So I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll just try and get a good stun off on him. Luckily, the stun did take him down. I was a little worried it wasn't going to. 35% detection on the level 4 node. Oh, man, really? I'm gonna use a stop worm. I want that data breach. Data node. And then I can... Yep. Easy. Uh, crossbars is okay. None of that's really worth picking up. The rate of fire upgrade, maybe. Because our inventory's big now, so that might be worth picking up to sell. Really hope there's something useful in these. Oh, uh, to be honest, I don't know what I expect. I guess just like trank darts would be good. Oh god. Am I gonna use a? I'm gonna use a nuke. Access grant. Okay. I was thinking about using a stop worm. But nuke is fine. Damage upgrade. I'll take the peps to sell. Are there more lockers this side, or am I? No, there are more. All right, let's keep hacking them. This is what I was doing in Hangsha, by the way. I was just going around hacking these these type of storage units. Also, this is crazy. This is crazy, crazy. That's a that's a seven I'm hacking over there. Just in case you didn't know it. I'm gonna try and fortify around here. Oh, there's no point really. Access granted. Excellent. Uh, rockets and a rocket launcher. Cool. I mean, all of, to be fair, I'm making fun a little bit of this stuff. But all of this stuff is like super useful. Not useful, but valuable. Still no. I mean, I can, I can imagine it's quite a hefty little chunk of inventory space. Five Typhoon ammo is probably enough. We can use our Ipo stem. <laughs> Wait, we have Praxis points. Let's uh, just get ourselves some more inventory space. Cool. No jacking off with the rocket launchers. Our friends over in the D DRB would say, say, the derelict row bangers. So yeah, that was, that's easily like 5k credits we've just picked up in this one facility already if we were able to sell it. Oh. Interesting. I, I do remember going the going in like over here. To, uh, to get into this facility last time I did this. So I'm not surprised we couldn't find a way out on the other side. But I did expect there to be one, if I'm being completely honest. I'm sure there is, actually. That's one thing. Whenever you don't find a, like, a solution in Deus Ex, you shouldn't presume that it's not there. You should just presume you didn't find it. Because there's a good chance you didn't. Wait, what? I didn't do this. Or did I? No, I did. Yeah, this was me. What? Have I gotten completely turned around here? I have. Uh, wait, no, ha no, I haven't. This isn't where I wanted to go at all. Huh. I was completely fucked. It was this direction I wanted to go. I've been living a lie. For the last, like, little bit there. Huh. Interesting. That's very interesting. Interesting. 
So that whole time I was trying to get to the end of the, uh, this, like, the end of the sewers, I was going to the, the wrong end. That is very interesting. By the way, the hypo stim and the painkillers, if you look up the top left, you'll see my health is now above 100%. Or above 100 points, I guess. Um, that's what the hypo stim and health and painkillers do. That's also what alcohol does. Alright, someone spotted me long enough to cause that to happen. That's fine. If Honestly, that's, that's more than fine. From here, I can just get back into the sewers. Yep, cool. Yeah, that's uh, alcohol, painkillers, hypostims. They just increase your max health. Or they heal you, but if you have max health already. Also. Interesting. What does that stuff even do? I don't even know what the breaker box does. Huh. Also, there's definitely something to that gas. There's a trick to it. Oh, they can just hear me. Oh, that robot can see me. I mean, I'm reloading the water save for sure. But still, I'm worried that... They, yeah, it's weird. They got alarmed upstairs. I think it's because they can hear me? I really hope it's because they can hear me. And I hope it's not something I've left behind. I think we need to shut the robot off, but I wonder if it's going to make too much noise. I'm worried about that. Also, the gas is clearly just making me not very level headed. If I switch the breaker box on, does the gas go away? That gas clearly gets pumped differently. Yeah. Huh. The gas gets blown out when the breaker box is on. No idea why. I don't even. Like, the breaker box is such a weird thing here. I think I want it on, right? I should, yeah, I should wait here, invis, and then go past him. Mert putty. Eventually. Nimble putty, not so much. Okay, what's out here? Oh, this is the, okay, this is the other side of the thing which is where we want to be no there's still f yeah no that's fine so then we can get we can just go up the stairs wait yeah yeah, yeah. huh oh i think the sewers are where we entered that makes sense. Wait, there are stairs here, right? Are there not? Oh my lord, there aren't. But, the thing I did notice is there is this box. Which... Could perhaps be our salvation. Jensen got them hops. As always. Jensen, he could, you know. We just got that box. There's no way. All right, I was gonna hop up on top of this, which was just excessive. We could smash our way through that window, which I've done before. It's uh, definitely something. People will know. Invis, because you never know who's looking. Headshot the sniper here. Yeah, nobody will spot him up there. That window's not openable. I don't think hacking this terminal is a good idea. Because I think people are gonna see me. But that's okay, there's another ladder to climb. Keep heading upwards, I have the high ground. Nobody's gonna see me up here. Oh, and I could drop in, can't I? 
Where is the open one? Where is the openable one? Maybe? There's gotta be a way to drop in. There's no way they put a fucking skylight in a Deus Ex game. You could probably break it. It's probably this. You're probably supposed to break No, look, they've... There's a world building here. They've definitely left one open. There's no way they didn't leave it open. Ah, fuck it. Whatever, don't don't go too deep. Just take the next path. Oh, there's a vent. Always take the vent. The vent is an option, you take the vent. Look, this X rewards me for taking the vent. Very close. It's like, right, it's over there. I know there's a better way to go about this because I've never been here before. That camera's a real ball ache. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna come out this way because that way is just awful. Going through all of that room right there would have would have been a dreadful idea. I don't think anyone will see me hacking this. Although it's very easy to. Alright, let's not dilly dally too much. There's one data store I can get it very easily. Oh. I still can get it very easily though. Well, it's, it's easy. To, it's definitely safe to say I've di dilly dallied on this. Access granted. Regardless, we're in. There's a guy right there. Oh, never mind. Oh, this is the room. No, it's not. I thought this was the room we peered into earlier, but it's not. Are we still far away from the thing? There's probably a vent. That's a heavy armored guy. But he's not got a helmet on, so if he turns around, we can trank him. Also, I've got more trank rifle ammo now than stun gun ammo. He's coming close. Alarmed? Oh, it was him. Oh, his name's Nahari Khan. Have we heard that name before? I feel like we've heard that name before. Interesting. He has a name. He has kids and a family. I know there's a way to get over there. That's safer than jumping down. But look, we've done the direct route before. I definitely should have auto-saved before doing this. But in for a penny. The Jensen Icarus landings is his way into every situation. Meme is definitely strong with this playthrough. Alright, we should be able to go up the stairs without too many issues as long as we stick on this side. Whoa. Is it yeah, it's relaxed. Didn't trigger any alarms. Look at it! It's turning full hostile on me for no reason. I bet if I if I do this, let's in this. That turret is having none of my shit. If I remember correctly, there's a no, oh, never mind. I thought there was a guy on this roof. Turns out there isn't. Heavy rifle ammo. I know there's a vent though. At least I'm pretty sure there's a vent. Aha. Oh god. Alright, there's nothing in here. That's just a regular terminal. That's just a regular terminal. You can tell which ones are the security terminals because they're green. In case you haven't figured that out yet. It's just a regular terminal and this is the desk we need. Are you ready to leave Hangshire Island for good? Because once you place the bomb there will be no turning back. 
I don't think I've missed a side quest. Maybe I've missed one, but let's just head on out. Shit! Just for me, was it Tom? Richard, I'm going off the grid for a while. Not sure how long. Why? What are you up to, Jensen? Following a lead. And where exactly is this lead taking you? You there! Get that cargo, clear the fire! We're pulling out now! Load and secure those pods. Answer me, Jensen. Where are you going? Hell if I know, Pritchard. Hell if I know. <laughs> <laughs> 